Hare Krishna Prabhus. Um, wow. We're at the Vishnu temple here in Gaya where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as Nimai Pandit actually, he was only 24 years at the time, he received his um, initiation from Ishwara Puri, from his spiritual master, whom he met here actually. And Ishwara Puri took him into this beautiful Vishnu temple, maybe 20 meters from me. And uh, he gave him his uh, Diksha mantras. And as soon as a uh, 24-year-old Nimai Pandit got those mantras, he experienced transcendental ecstasy for the first time. And um, so then um, Ishwara Puri told him to come over here, just a few meters from where I'm standing, uh, where there's a very ancient deity of Lord Nishingadev, actually Ugu Nishingadev, killing him on Nekashipu. And he told him to chant his first mantra, his first ga uh, Gayatri mantras there. So this is what Mahaprabhu did. He sat inside uh, this little temple and chanted his first Diksha mantras in front of Ugu Nishingadev. So we're just going to take you very quickly because there's no photography here. We're going to run in and just show you very quickly that deity which he sat in front of. So here we see Lord Nishringadev killing the Asura Hiranyakashipu. <laughs> so this very deity, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted his um, first Gayatri mantras which he received from uh, Ishwara Puri. Here. Causeless mercy, only by the mercy of Prabhupada are we able to have darshan of this deity and remember this wonderful pastime. <laughs> Ishwara Puri Bhuki, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki, Sri Rabhu Bhakti. was at this specific place that um, uh, Nimai Pandit, uh, when he came to uh, Gaya, he offered the Pindadan for um, his father, uh, Jagannath Mishra. And in doing so, one also prays for one's ancestors. Of course, we can understand that you know Jagannath Mishra is an eternally liberated soul, but just to show how a devotee is concerned about the welfare of everyone, we want everyone to advance in Krishna consciousness. So it's a, a small ritual, but it could help one's ancestors um, advance beyond wherever they are. But of course, we know that um, in the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Lord Nishingadev tells Prahlad Maharaj, because you're a pure devotee of the Lord, then 10 generations before you and 10 generations after you will all be liberated. So this is our deeper understanding of the, the Pindadan. Uh, we don't necessarily have to do it because if we become devotees, then um, all our relatives benefit. Even our, our parents and our grandparents, somehow or other, they'll benefit because that is the instruction of, of Lord Nishringadev to Prahlad Maharaj. So although devotees may sometimes do these type of rituals, um, really just becoming a pure devotee is, is, is enough. And how to become a pure devotee? Chant the Yuga Dharma. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All auspiciousness comes from that. All the different Vedic rituals, whatever benefit is there, is also there in the Maha Mantra. But the ultimate benefit is there that not only one uh, gets moksha, but one gets prema, by which one can go back home, back to Godhead. But still, it's very interesting to follow in the footsteps of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to all these various holy places he came. And his secret desire, of course, as I mentioned earlier, was to come here and, and to point out the importance of associating with saintly persons. And most important, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu demonstrated a very essential instruction in Krishna consciousness on the path that one must accept a bona fide spiritual master and surrender to him. So that Mahaprabhu did here with his illustrious um, Guru Ishwara Puri. But this is the place of the pastime where he offered Pindadan for the deliverance of his uh, father Jagannath Mishra. Very beautiful kund, it's called Surya Kund, and it's very nicely maintained by the uh, Pujaris here.
another holy spot here in Gaia. Actually, again, following the instructions of um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur to visit those places that Mahaprabhu visited. And Srila Prabhupada underscores this in a, in a purport in Chaitanya Charitamrita Ancha Leela, uh, quoting uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. He begins the purport in that way. Uh, he writes, or he quotes, May I visit all the holy places associated with the leelas of Lord Chaitanya and his devotees. And then Prabhupada instructs us. He says, a devotee should make a point of visiting all the places where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed his pastimes. Indeed, pure devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu even want to see the places he simply visited for a few hours or a few minutes. That's how special is Lord Chaitanya and the places that that he visited, that he went to. So here in Gaya, there are a number of uh, holy places associated with Lord Chaitanya. And this, where we are right now, this, what's presently a temple, this is where Lord Chaitanya stayed when he was in Gaya. He stayed in this structure. Has a very ancient uh, deity of Vishnu, which Mahaprabhu was taking darshana. And actually, um, Mahaprabhu, when he was here, he cooked for himself. This is traditional in, in Vedic culture. A Brahmana, he cooks for himself, generally very simply. So Mahaprabhu would cook for himself here. And um, not far from here is the Vishnu temple where he met his future spiritual master, Ishwara Puri. And after meeting, uh, Mahaprabhu came back to his residence here. And very soon after, and he began cooking for himself. And very soon after that, Ishwara Puri showed up at the door. Uh, it's described exhibiting all ecstatic feelings of love of God. The eight ecstatic symptoms of love of God, that's how he appeared at the door. So Lord Chaitanya invited him in. And with the prasadam that he'd cooked for himself, he served that to uh, his spiritual master, Ishwara Puri. Demonstrating how uh, the servant of a master should serve in, the, in, a, in a menial way, this, in this way to receive the blessings of the Master. Of course, these are all the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya, teaching us how to be uh, good devotees and achieve Krishna Prema within this lifetime. Tadvidi paripatena paripashana sevaya upadekshanti teganam ganinas tatpadarshanaha. That one should approach a spiritual master, inquire from him submissively, and sevaya, render service to him. That inquiry and that service, that combination is very dynamic. It brings realization, Krishna conscious realization. So Mahaprabhu was so kind, he demonstrated, or he showed us the path of, of um, Krishna consciousness from Shraddha to Prema. So we're feeling very fortunate, very blessed to be in the residence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His kitchen's just over there. We're gonna see where he cooked uh, for himself while he stayed here, and where he cooked for his spiritual master, Ishwar Puri. Just, we're just relishing unfathomable bliss by the mercy of our spiritual master, Shudra Prabhupada, and following the instructions of, um, of uh, Bhakti Mrup Thakur to, to go to those places where Mahaprabhu visited, and even just for a few moments or a few minutes, go to those places as well. So, Hare Krishna, Shudra Prabhupada ki, Bhakti Mrup Thakur, Goranga Mahaprabhu ki, Ishwara Puri ki. Go Premanandi Gaya Dam Ki. Okay.